How do I turn this into this? Let me show you. So, how do I get from simple knitting to making something beautiful? The first thing I do is I open up image to track. Vertical stretch is 1.5. The width of my project is always 200. And now I select an image. Okay, so I've selected a random image from my Facebook. You can see how it has given me load track I have this photo. This is not just a photo. This picture is now in a file on my computer using the same name as the image. This is Jake. Okay? So now I can downsize this. Go to my downloads. I'll be right back. Okay. Right here at the top of my um, quick access, um, exactly where I got the, the picture from, image to track actually makes its own little folder and it'll bring up the picture. Now, this is, um, well, it's Jake and it needs to have been created today. Uh, is it this one? One of these is today's image. Or is it this one? That one's all clean. And the image I'm looking for is not clean yet, and that's, well, 200 by 300. So, go back to here. This one. You want to open it with. Now, I would normally use GIMP, so that's the one we're going to use. And GIMP's going to take a few minutes to load, and then I'll show you how I edit. Okay, so GIMP has opened up. It's asking if I want to convert this photo, and yeah, I do. Now, it's, it's not a very spectacular um, photo. It's only at 100%, but I can increase it to 800%. You see all of these dots? This is called dithering, and you want to get rid of the dithers. Now, a lot of people would um, not get rid of the dither, but the fact remains is that the dither makes it dirty. So, what I like to do is to reverse the colors and just get rid of each dot at a time. See, now I have it in black. If I switch it to white, and that's it. And I erase all of the little dots that I don't need and if there are dots that I want then I put them back in. Can you do larger spaces? Of course you can. You can do a block like this 
go to edit, go to copy, go to paste, and you can paste it anywhere. Edit, paste, edit, paste. And that's basically how you run GIMP to get rid of all of the extra. Can you use other programs? Of course. You can use Paint, you can use Coral Draw. It doesn't really matter. Now, if you are happy with the amount of work that you've done, then you can go to Save As, rename this to whatever, so I'll call it Jake, June 23rd. And I'll save it. And then I'll go File, Export, Export, Export. And that'll create this into a PNG. Now if I take this program back. I set this to 1. And I go select image. I open up this one again because that's where it saved it. I can find my new Jake June. This is the PNG file. Open it up and I get my new image. And now I can knit this new image instead of having um, what you don't want, I guess is the best way to put it. So I'm not sure if that really makes any sense. But um, another import important point is that when I go to load this, onto my 940, I plug in my USB and I follow the same instructions as you do for DAC where I press the letter C under the MIMO button and then 551 step one step and it loads the entire pattern. If I load it onto my 930 it'll do it into tracks and those tracks are kind of a pain in the butt but your um, knitting machine will tell you what you need to do next. I don't know if any of this is clear or not, but uh, that's what I do. If you didn't see my other videos, the border on this blanket are from Stitch World 547 and 537.